we confuse often diversity with the need for inclusion. Um, so if I look at diversity, um, within most organizations, ours included, I can field you a room of diverse people. I mean, we recruit them across our organization. But if I don't have inclusion, I don't get the benefits of that diversity in the room. So think about it, we have a boardroom, and often you see those boardrooms and there's chairs around the big table, but there's also chairs around the edge. And whenever I go into those rooms and I see you know, diverse talent making a beeline for the chairs on the edge, I will deliberately pull my chair over and make room at the table for them because I just think that messages to them, um, we would like your contribution and we want your opinion at the table where the decision is being made. But when we talk about inclusion and including that diverse point of view and that diverse perspective, we also really need to be clear about the, the, the fact that we, will, we should listen to that person, we should hear what they have to say, and we should include it as part of our mosaic that makes up those investment decisions. So I think that's a way that a leader can model inclusive behavior.